The families, they have a choice. They can sell the weapons for what they're worth, about $63,000, or have them destroyed. The donor wanted to make the choice easier for those grieving families, giving them the money so they can just get rid of those guns. But one attorney I spoke with says that these guns, they're evidence, and they can't be destroyed just yet. Do we perpetuate the violence by putting these guns back into the hands of unknown people who could use them to uh, hurt and maim other people, or do we destroy them? Las Vegas attorney Alice Denton told CNN an anonymous donation could help bring closure to the families of the 58 victims. The donation came from a mysterious San Francisco software executive, $62,500, a little more than the estimated amount of the guns. And, and I commend this donor from Silicon Valley who's offered this, but we can't destroy the guns now. Las Vegas attorney Robert Eglett says the anonymous donor has good intentions, but they could be hurting rather than helping one October victims and their families. His firm is representing thousands of one October survivors and many of the victims in lawsuits against MGM and the creators of bump stocks. He says destroying the guns isn't so simple. Those guns and the bags and the containers they were brought into the hotel with are evidence. Eglitz says he and all of his clients are in favor of destroying the guns, but in order to give his clients their best defense, the guns can't be destroyed or sold, at least until all one October cases are closed. They're not looking at the big picture. They don't represent these victims, but I do, and I have to make sure the evidence is preserved. The estate attorney, Alice Denton, told CNN she expects to go to probate court in March to get the guns legally released and destroyed. Meanwhile, the attorney representing the victims, who you just heard from, their families say that they would immediately appeal that decision. Until a decision is made, the guns will stay in the possession of the Las Vegas FBI office. Live in studio, Cassie Molnarek, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.